So this is an example how mapping works. You have here um, a photo with a gate and a wall. If you zoom in, you can see the walls. So as I was walking here, um, I made a picture just to see what kind of building this is. You can depict from the picture also the size of the building and you can see the, the road quality here. So you can actually check this here. It says here concrete, which is true. This one was concrete. At some point it's not concrete. Um, this was a square where they play basketball that was also still concrete. So what you can do then is you cut it here where you made the picture. And then this is concrete, and from here on, it's not concrete, it's actually gravel. Um, this is the source, it's Mount Survey and this Bing imagery, and this is then the date, that was 15 August. This I just added, that's the wall, the wall is about one and a half meter high, you can look over it. And then from here to here is actually where the gate is, so you can add that. Barrier is a gate. Uh, again, you can add the information that was reported, and then you say the material, it's metal, the height, it's again 1.5, uh, not much else is needed here. And then the wall continues here in this direction, you can see on the big imagery, or at least deducted pretty accurately, that it's going roughly like this, then here. And then it goes around this. And again, you do this. Actually, you can just combine it. Then it automatically subtracts this information. You can actually also split it on top. There is metal. I don't do that. I just say it's a top wall and it's this high. Then the building itself. I usually use the the outer lines of the of the roof and. Then in this case you can actually see here, there's a little edge, which you also see here. So, unless you have drone imagery, which I have of Baguio, but that's private, that's not for public. So, in this case you just use this here, and then you say that's a building and it's a house. Um, here you adjust the polygon for the street a little bit more. Yeah. And then here again, you can just add polygons roughly where you think this is the house roughly. And then again you can say building house. Here is again a house. Basically, this is sometimes the trick, the quality is from the satellite is not always good. And that is sometimes a problem. But then again, it doesn't have to be that accurate. If, if you do it for the city and you have the actual drone imagery, you can do this very accurately. Really. But in this case we don't have drone imagery, so we do it just roughly. And this roughly is actually more than enough for... for most situations. So sometimes these polygons already exist, Facebook added them, and in a case like this house it doesn't exist. And I always square houses, because from the satellite imagery it's not always obvious, but in reality most houses are squares, so that's also why I usually just make squares, and that's very easy, you do that with a queue, so you just as accurate as you think it should be, you put these corners there, and then you press the Q, and then it's a square. And that's how you very quickly can map a rural area.
this is again a new one. This is sometimes tricky, as you can see, because this is probably two buildings. And it's not quite clear how it's done. But again, it doesn't have to be that accurate. It's usually very important for addressing. And if the city or municipality wants it that accurate, they can do drone imagery. That's what Baku is doing. So in Baku, we can do this very accurately. But for rural areas, this is more than enough. Yeah, this is uh, one example. And uh, how much time is this video now? Uh, six minutes. Okay. Then I can show something else. This is I just did this. So this is now the animal breeding part and the hole here is the farmyard. So if you click on it, you actually see the red line here, that this is all the farmyard. But the animal breeding part, it's only that one. And then you can actually say, okay, this was a farmland here. So from here, from the river or the stream actually, you can actually map this here. And I know for a fact, because I walk here, that this is all farmland. And we can use here the polygon of the stream. Mm. Yeah, in this case here we got it, here we walked along the along the farmland, which means in this case, I'm going to use this polygon here. This was still the farmland. So again, unless you have drone imagery, you cannot do it more accurate than what I'm doing here. But this is already accurate enough to give a good hint to hikers or people who live there. I remember this was still not farmland. Yeah, the farmland went here a bit along the river. So you can actually map that also, that the river itself is embedded a little bit here. And somewhere here the river was indeed, uh, probably there, here the river was indeed stretching against the farmland. So then you split here the waterway, you split also the waterway here. Um, and you split here this polygon, and you split the polygon here. Now you can select these polygons here. And then you select the preset which you made for the Philippines. And let's say this is the farmland now. The crop, actually, I know that because the water is all rice, is it? Irrigate? No, I don't think so. Source and check date, new relation. Okay, that's it. And now you see already it has this color. The thing is, if you now look here on the map, you don't see any farmland here. It's non-information. Also, here you don't see any anything I actually worked on here. When I now upload here, you got some war warnings here. Um, roads I don't know the name of. Well, if I don't know the name, then I cannot add it. This is a critical one, crossing highway waterway. So I need to open that warning. Ah, I already know what it is, it's forbidden to sow. Here. Yeah, I cannot remember if that was a bridge or a tunnel. Since I cannot remember, I have to assume a bridge I would have noticed, which means then we add here, tunnel. Oh, tunnel, yes. Which also means the layer is the minus one, it's underneath. So here, this area, you can actually see the information I add to this tunnel. If you now upload it, that warning is gone and it just says unnamed ways. Okay, that's it. And then here, this is my general 
information about all the sources I'm using, and then here you write what I did. Um, just adding pass, houses, fields, ports, anything I see on Photos and notes and main And then you do upload changes. So 852 objects I did in a short period. Yeah, and now it's actually already online. And here you can actually check everything I did. Oh, that's actually pretty bad. Oh, I did the change here. Yeah. With the stupid chicken farm, because I checked on the chicken farm in Baguio because of this, how to tag it properly. Because you need to do the farmland here, with um, no, not the farm, the farm yard. You need to do the farm yard, which is a stock yard, which means it has stock animals, and then you do the part of the animal breeding. Yeah. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this is basically how mapping works. And it will take a tile time to be updated here, but tomorrow I will show you another video how this area already got updated.